The time for talk is over. It's now time for the Supremacy 9 co-main event. Peter Clinch versus Dan Digby for the New Zealand middleweight title. The Bear Clinch fighting out of Hooligans MMA in Dunedin. He busted onto the SFC roster with an early submission over Bjorn Hordick at Supremacy 6 in Dunedin. Then went on to face Forrest Goodwin at Supremacy 7, choking him out in the second and ending a well-deserved New Zealand middleweight title shot against Dan the Gravedigger Digby. Uh, Dan Digby is definitely a good fighter. Um, you know, he's got a great record and done really well. So he's going to be a tough fight and it's one that I really look forward to. Yeah, I've probably watched four of his five fights that he's had. So I know, um, you know, I know of him and I know he's a good fighter and stuff. He's certainly a um, good quality fighter. He's a ground fighter. So I've got a fair idea he's going to try and get me on the ground and, and have his way with me. Well, I think, I think my advantage is that I'm the beer. So, um, you know, it gives me an edge, I think. Um, and yeah, I, do, I just, um, I'll be looking, um, you know, to, to beat him on the feet and on the ground. So no, no particular way. Oh, I suppose this will be my fourth title fight. This is his first title fight. You know, I've fought internationally. I've fought some big names. Um, I'm probably the biggest name he's fought. So yeah, I'm pretty comfortable, man. Well, he's comfortable and confident, the Grave Digger, as we head into the tail of the tape. Brought to you by UFC 3 Undisputed for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Well, they're similar in age. The Grave Digger has a much bigger height advantage and a much superior record. 17 fights under his belt to the clinch's five. Pretty aptly named fighter, the Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Jiu -Jitsu specialist. Loves to clinch. Well, there was no shortage of confidence backstage. Referee Chris Easley brings them back together, the Gravedigger, with a massive advantage. 12 more fights in terms of experience. And this is for the SFC middleweight crown. The Gravedigger versus the Bear, and we're underway in round one. Well, clinch with the blue tape on his wrists. The Gravedigger, the taller of the two, he's the inked up fighter with the red tape on his gloves. And immediately going for the single leg takedown, crashing clinch to the cage. And Clinch a body to slam. Lock up that head, though. Clinch immediately going into a half guard. And with an arm and guillotine. Hard to submit someone like Great Digger, though. Yeah, particularly with his level of experience, he won't panic in there. Guillotine's one of the most common submission attempts and one of the easiest to make. Clinch has got to be careful not to wear out his arms as well. Yeah, that fatigue can come, and you see there, Digby now pushing the head down. Looks like he's da going for a choke. Dangerous territory. See him for a dash choke. Trying to scoot his right hand up under the armpit, around the neck. And little love taps there from the top, from the grave digger. Look for some elbows from the Digby. And a couple of very experienced grapplers here. Elbow Clinch. coming. Oh, elbow to the body instead. And those elbows to the body, they don't look like much initially. And there's a couple of big elbows from the top from the Grave Digger. Ooh, and a nice, nice downward right hand, left hook, veering his punch as well. Clinch. Clinch is doing, doing well to try and get out. He's got to watch his back, though. Well, he tried to shrimp out of there. And he's scrambling well. Grave Digger there. Still looks in pretty good control as he tries to maintain control of the back. We're in some funky position. Oh, now clinching the side control. Well, you can see immediately both experienced grapplers both testing each other out on the ground, looking for position. Gotta be cautious about uh, where you leave an arm or a leg, looking for the emma plata there, the grave digger. 
Interesting to see whether Clinch can get out of that. Interesting the way he's locked up his calf. Stop getting any more leverage on the shoulder joint, which can be quite easily popped out from that position. And good work from Transition Clinch. straight into a triangle, it looks like. And we're two minutes and 30 seconds into the first round of this New Zealand title bout. The five o'clock brought to you by Skinny Prepaid Mobile. Living Skinny. See skinny.co.nz for more info. Clinch doing well to defend that triangle attempt by Digby. Uh, you can see Digby, he's uh, got the full repertoire there. He's already had several submission attempts. Not letting go of that arm at all. Clinch defending. Now he's, he's got... A, Digby's giving Clinch's back. Not good. Yeah, well, good scrambling from Clinch. This is what happens when you've got experienced grapplers. Look to see the grave digger. Just defending his neck there. Getting Ooh. wrist control. Nice elbow from the side. Well, we just heard referee Chris Easley warn him about shots to the back of the head. It's a fine line there. He tried to go around the side, but... Uh, well, the grave digger not that happy. And fortunately for him, really, he was struck there because uh, it's given him a rest. He wasn't in a good position. He was starting to flatten out. Dan Digby was in a really bad position. Taking elbows to the back of the head, side of the head. This is a good... This is good for the di grave digger. Oh, well, yeah, certainly wasn't a good position. And clinch a little bit of an experience there. And... The grave digger now able to use his uh, length, his height advantage. Clinch going in for the takedown immediately. Clinch up, looks for the single. Going for the single. Digby's grave doing well to defend. No, but he gets taken down. Just turned that leg on the inside. And this is a case where you've got two very good grapplers. They're both very well skilled. They're both comfortable on the ground. Attempt for the reversal. There from the grave digger. Digby manages to stand up. Now it's Clinch who's defending. Take the single, take the front single. You Digby wants to pull those knees in together. You can hear the instructions coming from the corner to go for the single. He's now got his arms wrapped around Clinch's left leg. So that's his right leg rather. Couple of attempts and well, third attempt, he manages to get it. Clinch now shrimping from the side. The head's pushed down, and now the grave digger once again in a dominant position, dropping the elbows, a couple of crisp elbows. And again, the experienced fighter too. See him just pulling the hand out of the way and looking for the shot. As the seconds tick away in the first round of this New Zealand middleweight title. We've certainly got a contest on our hand. Two very experienced grapplers, the grave digger. This is the bear. Welcome back to Supremacy 9. Heading straight into the replay after an enthralling first round of this New Zealand middleweight contest. Brought to you by Skinny. Cutting the tape with $5 top-ups or $4 weekly combos. Skinny.co.nz. Well, we saw the grave digger. Dan Digby on top. And he looked a little stronger of the two. Certainly better in the ground and pound. But Peter the Bear clinch showing his gracie jiu-jitsu skills from the bottom. And he had a dominant position at one point, but unfortunately, just those shots to the back of the head, a little borderline. Even though he was trying to go around the sides, they got stood up, and that wasn't a good position for the grave digger Dan Digby. Chris Easley giving him a warning. And then we head into the second round of this, our New Zealand middleweight title. Peter the Bear clinch on the left with the blue tape around his gloves. Dan Digby, the grave digger, the taller of the two, with the sprawled shorts and the red tape on his gloves and eats a right hand for his trouble. Well, a bit of dirty boxing, attempting the right uppercut there by the grave digger, but straight back down on the ground and cramming clinch up against the cage. Digby doing well just to push him into his corner. You see his teammate there, Gareth Burke, Issuing out instructions. Yeah. Don't be careful. Clinch is looking for an armbar here. Push, or just pushing off the fence. Clinch needs to get a bit of space off that fence. He's got to work his Gracie game from the ground now. 
Don't forget, Supremacy 10 coming back to West Auckland on July 14. New Zealand's only full Pro Rules fight night. And we head back to this New Zealand middleweight bout. The Grave Digger looking to establish dominance from the top. He's pretty explosive from the top, Walkie. He is indeed. He's a good grappler, but he loves to strike as well. He's been training hard. He's uh, joined a new team now. He was with Fierce Fitness just a couple of weeks ago. Now he's broken up and he's started a new group, Orphans MMA. Well, that's Grave Digger's marital problems, but he's certainly showing no signs. Looking really dominant from the top. A very game Peter the Bear clinch. Clinch Gra using the wall well. Yeah, Grave Digger just look at this positioning him back nicely. Now what's he a sweep, high arm bar, triangle? Yeah, it's kind Kimura. of a combination between a triangle slash everything. Kimura. He's got the Kimura locked in there, but not really a good position or an easy position on the ground there. Giving it a nudge though, the bear. And the grave digger again doesn't give it to him. Just a little bit too experienced to fall into that trap from that position. Although he does have to be a little bit cautious there about the triangle. He's definitely got to give Clinch the respect. He's 5-0. and oh. Well, he's, he's just got to be cautious there. As you do, you can't take anything for granted. Clinch uh, defending well, looking for the submissions. The Grave Digger, though, not giving them to him. He's doing well. He's still working for that triangle. What, armbar? Not letting it go. And, of course, you've got to remember it's not just grappling. You've got the strikes from the top that can soften a fighter up. Oh, oh nice that's slam a there. nasty slam. Straight into an armbar. Clinch is... He certainly hasn't let it go. <laughs> well, it's kind of an interesting position. Reminds me of Borat, the first movie. Bedroom scene. Well, you have to be a Borat fan for that one as the clock ticks down. Now let's see what kind of damage Clinch can do from this top position. Well, he's done well to get out and, and find his way back to the top. Now looking to step over and get into full mount. We'll see him throw those right elbows. And our fight clock there. One minute 40 to go, and this is the second round. Brought to you by Skinny Prepaid Mobile. Living Skinny. See skinny.co.nz for more details. Well, the clinch now having his turn. Side control. Right hand under the neck there. Trying to get a knee right on. Well, again, he's got his back. That's twice. That's twice we've seen the Grave Digger volunteer to give up his back. He's obviously pretty confident there. We've got one hook in there from uh, Clinch. This is an enthralling battle between two very, very well-schooled grapplers. And again, this is where the Grave Digger is a little bit stronger when he's on top with his striking. Just uh, delivered a little reverse elbow there. And Clinch trying to get in that second hook. Oh, close there. He's flattening him out. Oh, close to flattening him right out, and that would be serious trouble. His right arm's under the neck. Oh, no, he's released oh, it. He's gone for the try to slide the left arm under. And the grave digger. 30 seconds left. Clinch really needs to put a mark on this round by just throwing some elbows down. Yeah. Oh, like that. Well, this More. could be a comeback in the second round. Clinch dominating the final minute and a half. He's now got full mount. Has he got enough time to deliver some damage? And this is the second round of this New Zealand middleweight title. Bit of claret coming from one of the fighters. There's 10 seconds left. He needs to sit up and just hit. Oh, the Grave Digger is certainly a slippery customer on the ground. And uh, he'll be pleased to head back to his corner. Peter the Bear clinch. A bit of ruby red flying from his nose as the second round to this three-round bout comes to an end. Everything on the line in the third and final round. Let's look at the MTG Pro Replay. Crowd supporters of MMA and Thai boxing. Available 10 Drury Street, Newland. Well, the second round, another enthralling round. The Grave Digger started off as the first round ended on top with the takedown using his superior strength and superior leverage against Clinch, who proved game. He really tried for a couple of submissions from the def from the bottom. He defended well, and towards the end of the round, he dominated the final 90 seconds, managing to get the Grave Diggers back 
Not for the first time in this bout, and it's now all on the line as we head into round three of this SFC middleweight title. And Waki, this is the stage where the instructors from the corner are key. They can see things you can't see when you're on the ground or in the stand-up. What would either corner be saying? Well, Digby's corner will be saying to do the same. Take, clinch down, get on top, maintain control, fire off those shots. And, of course, Peter the Bear clinch with the blue tape on his gloves with the black trunks, yellow trim. The grave digger, Dan Digby, in the sprawl trunks with the grey stripes on the side. The grave digger with the ink on the back. And he's quite sharp on the top there, doubling up on the jab and then going with the uppercut. Getting the takedown again, big overhand right. And those are big shots there. Clinch looking for an ankle lock momentarily, but uh, he had to concentrate on defending the computer. And Digby's digging in those elbows to the Clinch's head. Just rattling the cage there. Digby standing up, and it has been where he has had some dominance. And he can really... <laughs> that, was, that was a Mark Hunt double kind of stomp there. Big elbows from the top. Clinch now taking a bit of a pounding. Gives up his back. He's a slightly more compact fighter when he's given up his back. Knees up tight. Not allowing the grave digger to get over the top. So the Gravedigger quite content there, just to pound away, look for the opening. And you can see him trying to slide in the first hook. But if Clinch wants to win this title bout, he needs to do more than just lay there on his knees. Oh, and the Gravedigger slides around over the other side. Well, he doesn't have much choice at the moment. He's Clinch could being... just stand up right now, just stand up. He could be worked stand out. Stand up, ooh! Yeah, well, that's your punishment for being a turtle. Oh, he's cut. And he's cut badly there. Referee will be taking a close look at that. And he's back into that defensive position. Perhaps he's just been a little bit wilted by this initial onslaught in the third and final round. And again, that experience. He's defended his title a number of times. He's fought internationally. And the grave digger just turning it on when he really needs to. Two minutes remaining, or three minutes remaining. As you can see on the Skinny Fight Clock, more to you by Skinny Prepaid Mobile. Living Skinny, see skinny.co.nz for more info. Well, it's a familiar pattern here. The bear clinch, really just in full defensive mode. Dan Digby himself probably a little bit tired, although he's pounding away there with that ground and pound. Well, oh, he slipped little, off the back. Slipped off the back. But the clinch, the Peter clinch, not really taking advantage of it. He's bleeding heavily there. He's passing the guard. Just, just trying to slide around, side control. Clinch has got to do something from this position. Yeah, he really needs to go to work. Oh, so nice turn over. Reversed. And another reversal now. He's locked onto that single leg, looking for a sweep perhaps. Got to be careful not to hit the back of the head. Getting warned there by Chris Easley, the ref. Oh, good consistency, consistency from Easley. Same happened earlier on in the bout. With Clinch being the recipient of the warning. He's doggedly holding on to that left leg. You can hear the instructions from the side. Put your hip up. Trying to prevent the sweep. He's giving it a go, Clinch. But Digby at this stage defending pretty well and just continuing to inflict some damage with the ground and pound. Those elbows, they don't look like much, but if you ever felt a, a dead leg or a Charlie horse from your older brother or sister, you'll know something of what that feels like. You see plenty of blood there on the body of the grave digger. And at this stage, he's got the shovel and he's digging his way to another New Zealand middleweight title. Unless Peter the Bear Clinch can pull a cat out of the hat. Oh, oh, Clinch is nice really, man. he's just gassed out. Just really doesn't have anything more to offer and he is getting pounded. It's essentially heavy bag practice. He can just explode, just stand up. Yeah, I think the, the, the fog of fatigue and that initial onslaught has really taken the wind out of his sails. Just 
30 seconds to go in this New Zealand middleweight title fight and the Gravedigger bringing it home with style. Well, here he goes, the Gravedigger, 20 seconds to go on the skinny fight clock and he's got the hooks in, looking for the rear naked. Can clinch in this bout on his feet without a submission. Seven seconds ticking away. The pounding is being issued by the Gravedigger. Wow. Saved by the bell. A bloodied and wearied Peter the Bear clinch. Dan Digby, well, he's gassed as well. He's very tired, but in the end, it was that experience in the title belt that counted. I can't see this going any other way than to the grave digger by unanimous decision. Well, let's have a look at the skinny replays. Brought to you by Skinny, cutting the tank with $5 top-ups. $4 weekly combos at skinny.co.nz. Well, he started off strongly, the grave digger, with the stand-up. Doubling up on the jabs, the left hooks, the uppercuts, and it really tended to take the wind out of Clinch's sails early. He offered very little, but a prone punching bag for the grave digger. He had his moments to take control there, but he just didn't have enough energy. He was reversed, and then more of those pounding knees, and that just does not look comfortable for the bear. Well, good experience after just six fights. Well, no surprises. The Gravedigger, the new New Zealand middleweight champion, seeing off a grave challenge from the bear, Peter Clinch. Promoter Carl Weber congratulating the Gravedigger. Let's head to Richie Hardcore. New champion, how does that sound? Uh, yeah, sounds awesome, eh? Just a um, huge thanks to Carl and to my opponent, Pete, for uh, fighting me at uh, late notice, yeah. You were telling me uh, prior to the interview that this is the first time you've ever gone the distance in 18 fights, is that right? Yeah, that's true. Um, Pete's the first man to take me the distance, so uh, heaps of respect for Pete and the hooligans. You, you've fought overseas five times. When's your next international bout? Um, that, that's a good question. I haven't got anything lined up at the moment. I just um, want to sit around uh, middleweight for a little while and get some experience up in New Zealand, yeah. Oh, well, fantastic performance, man. Congratulations on your new middleweight title. Awesome. Uh, thanks very much, bro. I just want to say a quick mention to my sponsors. Um, NZ MMA, Naira Phillips. Thanks heaps. You've been with me for two years. Um, Ina from the Real Line Institute down home in Hawke's Bay and also Jeff Wilkins from Wilkins Electrical down home in Hawke's Bay. And uh, just all, all my training partners and bros that have helped me out and stuck with me through all the years. Yeah, thanks heaps. Well, that's halfway through Supremacy 9, and we're back next week with another jam-packed hour of New Zealand's finest MMA. We'll have the heavyweights, the middleweights, and the welterweights, and the main event, the New Zealand SFC welterweight championship title between Luke the Juggernaut Jamo and the Fireplug Jack Masters. Well, until next week, I'm Mike Engo. And I'm Master Walkie. And we'll both see you next time in the cage.